Hey right, guys, so today I'm gonna do a small video just to show you how I clean the, um, the little guys will ask me about how we can bring back the, the sort of original fluffiness of this sort of country wheel. Um, and uh, it's quite simple really, it's not that difficult, but there's a little bit of elbow grease that's gotta go into it. But you see what happens after a while, it gets all smooth um, and sort of shitty. Uh, just because of the oils in your hands and um, you know, just what this sort of material does when you really press on it and hold on to it, um, which most of us do. Um, so what I've uh, tried to do today is show you what I'm using. Um, just you can pick this up from any uh, Coles um, store. It's just a sneaker cleaner. But the good thing about this one is uh, if you look into it, it's actually uh, um, designed for suede and um, other similar materials as well. The good thing about it is that it's sort of a squeeze bottle with a bit of an agitator on the top. Um, so, you know, when you start to squeeze and work into this material, it almost immediately starts to, to sort of lift the grease off and starts to fluff the material back up. Um, so you sort of do that, just sort of run it on the, on the steering wheel. Um, I've already spot tested this one so it doesn't leave any sort of um, stains or anything on it. So it's going to let the, the material dry off. Um, and what you do is you work this into the um, into the, the steering wheel, get all the material to fluff up. I also use a um, uh, uh, this brush here as well, just to sort of work it in even, even better. And um, you know, just do it lightly. I'm going to sort of tear the fibers up off um, off the steering wheel, but you'll you'll get you'll get a hang of it. Um, so you just sort of use that, and then wipe it off with the uh, microfiber cloth and just let it dry off. Um, so sort of before shot um i've already started working on this one just to sort of show you how the little fibers are all coming up um see it's starting to dry off in this area as well a little bit so uh you know it looks awesome when it's wet but um yeah i'm gonna keep going on it and i'll show you guys the end result all right all right so here um as you can see is already done um i'm gonna show you guys how i actually apply the material um, just over here. So start to sort of punch it in there a little bit. Um, and you'll see it happen pretty much before your eyes. As you work that in, you see immediately start to lift those fibers. And loosen all that shit that's there. So as you work it in, it just lifts that grit, sort of get, just simply gets rid of it all. over here too okay and then you just get your microfiber cloth give it a bit of a wipe down and that shininess you're getting there it's more of a being wet but then you get your brush out while it's still wet you start working it in a little bit not too rough like I said because you might rip some of those fibers up Although um, it looks like you're ripping them up and you know, you're sort of fluffing them up a little bit. And still we'll start to get back. All right, and this is the finished product. It's all come up pretty much like factory. Kind of see it around there too. It's a brand new wheel. As simple as that.